Hey, hey, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. And today, we cook again. You know, we're doing a really simple cook today. Very simple Something cook. I've been really excited for as many times as I could brats on the grill. I've never put them on the griddle. I've cooked brats on the griddle. I use my Blackstone just about every day. We got 4th of July coming up and this is a perfect thing to throw, which by the way, is the biggest cookout day of the year. We're gonna add just something special to this. It's gonna be awesome. If you wanna see our take on this relatively simple cook, but something we love, these bratwursts, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the other one. Like we said, welcome back. However, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We love to cook together, we love to be together, and man, we would love to have you with us all the time. But Brett, let's get into the groceries. This is relatively simple, one of the more simple cooks. Yeah, we didn't even need to lay these for presentation. We've got, this case, it's Johnsonville brats, and these have been left out for about 30, 45 minutes to get them down to room temperature. We got our Sara Lee artisanal rolls. Now, if you caught me making French toast, or anytime we're making sandwiches or breads, we're almost always using the Sara Lee Artisano. This stuff is delicious. We are not endorsed by Sara Lee. However, yes. if there's anyone at the Sara Lee company that you know, I'm just saying. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we are excited. I was yes. really happy just when product. I saw the new Sara Lee sausage roll. So these are designed for the bigger bratwurst, the sausages. So we're gonna get right into this. Brett. Uh, now, the key to this that makes it really interesting is knowing how to cook these because uh, a lot of times people talk about these things kind of splurting open and the juice is getting everywhere. That is a problem with cooking it too quick. Right yes, I have cooked so many brats in my time and in the past I would cook them on kind of like medium to medium high to get it through the process. I've done beer brats where I soak them in beer and cook them for that. This we're just doing simple. I have learned that when you do it low and slow, the yeah. juices actually stay inside and they don't explode and make it look like nature called, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and low so, and slow is so therefore, kind of a theme. when you bite into it, you, the juices are just all there and it's absolutely wonderful. So these these. These have so much flavor, much like a sausage. So Adam, let's get to the griddle. All right, so for this cook, we are using avocado oil. I do have my vegetable oil, forgot to bring it out. I've got my avocado oil here. This is delicious, it's light. Some would say a healthier option. I don't know what my bottles are doing that lately. All right, we'll just spread that real quick. Sorry to put these down real quick. I already got my little design from that. Listen to that sizzle. Just a light sizzle at first. Like we said, this is on a lower temperature, in fact, Medium to medium, or medium low to low is, is what we have them at, okay? We'll just do one simple line because we'll keep this really yep. simple here. Absolutely. And basically, we're going to do about five minutes and then we're going to turn. And these are going to take really maybe up to 20 minutes before they're cooked fully through. And like I said, they're going to be, the juices are going to stay inside because we are doing the lower temperature and the slower. If you're doing it, if you do it faster and that's why you prefer it, by all means, we're not gonna tell you how to do you, we're telling you how we do us. So like Brett said, we're gonna give these five minutes. And then give About them a five, flip. five minutes and flip. All right, so it's been a few minutes and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn it over and look at look at that already. It is cooking hot. We, we decided to take a look instead of waiting the five minutes. Uh, this is my hot zone right through here. And so, Okay, those are cooking pretty quick, which so, is good. We turn the heat all the way to low. Yep, yep. I'm gonna no, go no. ahead and, and lower even more, Adam. Okay. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm turning it all the way, way low for that, because that was uh, a little quicker than I am used to. We're just uh, get, gonna play with this and, and uh, make sure that we are cooking it on low rather than on medium low to even medium, because we do want those, ju we want it to cook all the way through while keeping the juices in. Just giving these a quick peek. It's been about the same amount of time. You can see it's cooking a little bit slower, which is good. So um, the good thing is, is I, I pulled that off the hot zone uh, because again, our, our intention is not to cook these super fast and get these all those juices in there to where they explode, but to actually keep the juices in there cooking without burning the outside. That's really the ultimate goal. Yep. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of char on the casings of this because the juice and the flavor inside is very there. We're cooking these for our dad. Char would be a requirement. <laughs> That's true, right? The darker the better. The darker the, always a char. Okay, so we're gonna give those a turn. They are, uh, they're actually looking pretty good. Yep, so by the time we have turned these, I think it'll be about 
four, five, maybe six times, depending on um, the quickness of this. Adam's Blackstone is cooking these a little quicker than, than we're used to, but as long as we're keeping it low, the juices are still gonna stay inside. If we don't see any of these things kind of explode and juice come out, then we know that the juices are staying inside the case. However, it's, if, if we see one explode, that's okay. That's very good <laughs> for people cooking broads. So these are delicious really either way. So I know there are some purists who feel like you just do the one flip and done. Uh, again, we're not trying to burn these and we're really trying to get the juices flowing and then a cook even throughout. So that's why we're gonna keep rotating these. So we're just gonna get a quick sear on the backside as well. We'll just do this for a minute mid flip for each of these. gonna hold it for about 30 seconds get a nice little sear on that back side it's gonna start the cooking process through on that side slippery little suckers this isn't required this just to us gives us a nice even sear for the outside we're just trying something different here that is looking so good if you could smell what a the rock is cooking and B, <laughs> <laughs> How good this smells. I am so excited for these. And sometimes I, I'm hesitant to top one of the brats because Ooh, the flavors split. themselves are so good. Definitely my favorite thing to put on a brat is just straight yellow mustard. Adam was telling me he likes to put pickles and yellow mustard. That might be a game changer for me, but today we're not gonna put either of those. For what it's worth, I smell what The Rock is cooking. If he's cooking brats, <laughs> I'm smelling it. If he's cooking brats, we know, all right. We got just a little bit of pink left right on here. So these will probably go for maybe six to eight more minutes. Man, Adam's doing a good job for his first time. Hey, give Thanks, him a round man. of applause, everybody. Thank you. I've done brats before on the grill, just not on the griddle. Now, um, so Brett said, um, I, I love having mustard and pickles on my brat. I know a lot of people like onions, uh, peppers, things like that. Not as much for us, but that's okay. That's the best thing about it. You dress them how you want them. You do you, boo. However, today we have made a special cheddar and American cheese sauce. It's a recipe that we actually kind of came up with together. Uh, we've cooked it before. We cooked it here tonight. For, in fact, we didn't even plan on doing the cheddar sauce until we're like, man, we're doing a brat show. Why don't we do a little something extra? And Adam was like, why don't we do our cheddar sauce? Very man. simple. Adam will post the recipe below. We did, we did a half of what we normally do for serving a lot of people. But it's, uh, you do it to start with the roux, you get the milk in there, once that starts to thicken, we put in, it, in this one, it was, a, it was a half cup of cream cheese, which is half a block if you're using the brick. And then we used a little, maybe I just, a handful or two, <laughs> if that's exact measurements of cheddar. <laughs> uh, it's about a, a half cup to a cup of cheddar, and that you can use as liberally and loosely as you want. We got American cheese slices and threw in four slices, four slices and then we just let it salted. Oh, there was salt, salt to taste, and it actually didn't require a whole lot of salt. Uh, just but it's a little bit. Absolutely amazing. In fact, you can use that cheddar sauce. Take it, make some macaronis, throw that cheese on it. You're gonna have maybe your favorite macaroni and cheese you've ever had before. We might be using that to make our own mac and cheese burgers. By the way, Ma oh, just gonna say, <laughs> stay tuned. Dot dot dot. So we're gonna give these one more flip. These are just about, oh man. Those are just about perfect. Because Brett, only the one split on the bottom when yep. I was cutting, cooking. Otherwise, yep. these are just, that one's having an issue. That's okay. That was that was the one that sat the longest in the hot zone. This one is getting a little splittage there. But otherwise, these are just going good. So and I'm gonna pull these see away. The pinkness is really starting to go away, which is, uh, of course, it's what you want. Um, Got just a little pinkness go, there. Very, just, so we're just talking a few more minutes. We are coming up on the close to 20 minutes for this cook total time. Now, one thing we also are gonna do, there is another step to cooking these brats, is you're gonna put them and wrap them in tin foil for about five to 10 minutes. And that's where the juices are continue to A, cook, and flavor the inside of the casings of these most delicious brats. All right, at this point, it's been 20 minutes. Adam, pull them off and we're gonna get it, these uh, wrapped up in the tin foil. And you said we're gonna do two per? Two per. Is that it? I need two per. <laughs> two per. Oh man. Uh, da, 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 da. Now this tin foil, by the way, is going to be very, very hot. 
looks like a hero gavit. There we go. The next one. Man, even cranking those all the way down to low, that still cooked beautifully. All right, so we're looking right about 10 minutes. Brett ran in to grab his secret cheddar sauce, and I can't wait to taste this, to use this, especially for these, uh, these brats. So right now we're gonna grab these. These are still scalding hot inside of the tin foil. Brett's got his cheddar sauce. Our cheddar sauce. Well, I did make this. I guess that makes it. <laughs> I call it your secret cheddar sauce. <laughs> All right, again with his cheddar sauce, it's absolutely amazing. Um, Adam will be posting the recipe down below for this. This is what we're dealing with on the roll front. Oh man. And the okay. thing that's so nice with these brats is the casings are amazing. And so when you bite in, you get that very satisfying snap as your teeth sink through this thing. How long so, are we gonna have to wait before eating these without burning our faces off? Because these are smelling on The tin foil was, I think, actually hotter than these are. I think this is about ready. It feels good. Let's go ahead and give this a bite. Here's our bratwurst on the Blackstone. Cheers. I'll, I'll eat to that, that my brother. brother. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. As far as a brat, this is perfect. This is excellent. It cooked perfectly through. Mm -hmm. It is it's divine. You know what? The juices are soaking into this bun, giving it even more flavor. But Brett holding that, we're going to go ahead and drizzle some yummy cheese sauce. I'll get you, brother. Put hold over the thing. Oh, man. Look at that cheddar sauce, Dude, bro. It is. The cheddar sauce is really easy, maybe 10 minutes tops, but then Hold up, once it's cooked, you want to go ahead and simmer it to keep it, it cooked because I want it right on that. It bite, is bro. it is cheese sauce, and so therefore it can mm. oh kind of start to harden up on it. So, so this is the bite. This is gonna be the this is gonna be my brat bite with the cheddar sauce on it. Brett, that brat was good. I think we just made it even more. Brada. Brada. <laughs> Cheers. I'll eat to that my Brada. You <laughs> taste it immediately. Mm. Adam. Now Brett uses a sharp cheddar. I'm not as big a fan as a sharp sharp cheddar, so we we that was why we went with four slices of the American cheese was mm -hmm. to mellow that out. It did mellow it up. Perfect. It was perfect. This is this is one of the best cheddar sauces I've tasted. And here's the deal. The cheddar melts right into that bratwurst. But the flavor with the brat with that cheddar sauce, I was gonna take one bite. I'm working on bite number three or four. Mm -hmm. Who's counting at this point? Mm. Try it. Mm. Okay. You gotta do this. If mm. you do, if you do quick on your brats, try low and slow and see how it goes. <laughs> I did not mean to rhyme. This is amazing. I want to go and finish this. We've got a few more for the family. We're going to get those. That cheddar sauce is divine. We've got a whole bunch of that left, thank heavens. Yep. I want to drizzle that on everything. <laughs> Anyways, Even his cereal. <laughs> We're going to go ahead. Pancakes. Waffles. <laughs> you done? Pizza. <laughs> if this helped you in any way, if you're new to Blackstone Griddling, you're wondering whether or not you can do bratwursts on the Blackstone, absolutely you can. And if you liked our take on it, make sure and give this a thumbs up. However, if you didn't and you still don't like it and you're still against it, we understand. Give this a thumbs down two times because we're with you. We get it. All right, but other than that, Brent, let's go ahead and get up on out of here. Yeah. All right, so aside from coming to make these amazing brats and this amazing cheddar sauce, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu and adieu. Forget to like and subscribe. And grin along. Let's be doing this now, shall we? Let's be oh, doing it. Yeah, all you need is your tongs. We'll do the click check. How oh, we do the click check. I don't have the tongs. And put the tongs right over there. Right here, here. I'll give him the click one, two, the click one, two. Ah, they work. So we could do one of two things, Adam. We can okay. either take a bite now and do the <laughs> <laughs> Or we can wait a minute and <laughs> Because this is honestly how this review would go. <laughs> we need <do> like this. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> It'd be like. True story. It right? really is. Fuck. 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 Yep.